Okay, so I think it's day 31. I don't know if I'm going to keep counting the days. Maybe I will. Because I might not keep putting them on the title. You know, maybe somewhere in the description or something. But anyway, so we're back in Reno for a few days um, for Curtis's grandbaby. Uh, they have a mama scheduled for a C-section tomorrow, the 3rd. So um, when you guys watch this video, it'll be the day of. <laughs> It's weird being back in Reno. It was quite interesting to um, to watch my mind coming back into town. Because it's like, you know, you've got that whole where you're like, you're going home thing. You know what I mean? And then, but now the road is my home. <laughs> it was really interesting to watch. It's um, um, really weird, like, to be back here. I don't know. It's different. It's definitely different. Um. Still slept in the home last night. Yeah, I'm in here right now because I was looking for a place to make a video and had sorted some laundry and doing some laundry and stuff. But I don't know. It's my home. That's my home. <laughs> you know. And there was one point where my mind was like, "Well, there you go. Vacation's over. Time to go home." <laughs> I was like, "No, it's not a vacation. It's your life. This is a pit stop." And and I've got plenty of things to do. I needed to get some mail. So. Uh, handle some business and stuff like that but it's just it's just weird because it's just not it's not me right now my honey was saying the same thing it's not him either so it was nice definitely nice seeing my daughter last night Tiana it was kind of fun because when we came in and I was just telling her stories and I've talked to her almost the whole trip just not about everything I guess but anyway we're just standing there visiting and stuff and telling stories and I'm just like that's story so that was really cool, but I almost got in here and made a video yesterday again, like made two videos for yesterday because, whew, you know, I have, you know, like the whole shedding of an onion, you know, when you like take, you know, there's layers of an onion and when you take a layer off, it's like, you know, makes your eyes water like crazy. So I think... I think that was what was happening, you know, 30 days out there, and it was like, you know, or a month out there, and you start changing, you start shedding some layers, you know, so there's a part of me that's a little worried about being in town, you know, but we were listening to two different videos yesterday on the way in, which I love that he's listening to the videos with me now, I mean, I just love it, because not only do I get to hang out with him and do what I enjoy, but... I think that it, it, it helps him too and it's also really good to for me to be able to have conversations with him about stuff too you know you know it's just nice I really enjoy it but we were watching too and there was one point during the middle of like Tony Robbins that it just hit me that I still there's still like a either don't believe I'm lovable or I don't deserve love or yeah Still that like not good enough kind of thing. I mean, and it was just like, Whoa. and not the ugly cry at all. I mean, there wasn't a sound coming out of me. It was just like, Whoa. as though I was cutting onions. And that's when I was like, oh, yeah, these layers are just coming off. This is what we wanted. This is good. This is exciting. Even though it's painful at times. But you're like all up in your own face. You don't have society's distractions. Society's very distracting, and that's why I'm kind of worried right now, because I'm like, I don't want to go into, I mean, I was like getting deep in the peels. We were peeling some shit, mm-hmm, peeling the layers, and now we're all kind of like soothed again, <laughs> but everything happens for a reason too, and so this has got to be a part of the process as well, because this baby's week's early too, you know what I mean, so it's all a part of the process, there's a reason I'm supposed to be here. Maybe the universe was like, wow, man, that girl, she digs in deep and really gets after it. So we might give her a little bit of a break. And I know if we, you know, put her in this place, she'll kind of back off of what's wrong with her all the time. <laughs> I don't really, I mean, it can be bad. And I've taken it to levels where it's bad. But I, I really think it's good to look at our shadow selves. See how we affect other people and the, you know, impact we have on them and know our shit, like know our shit, you know, 
So, and then I was watching Kyle Cease, and he's got this new entrepreneurial revolution thing that I'm involved in, but we had our first video this week, and so I was watching it. And he's like, the first step is to figure out why you're doing what you're doing. Why are you doing it? You know, why are you doing it? Like, so, okay, so for example, it's like, why do I want to help people? You know? Wow, some really interesting shit came up there, too, which, of course, I haven't even given a second thought to, because now I'm back in society. I haven't said in any of that. Oh, no, grandbabies, daughter. Mm -mm. So, <laughs> when you're out there, even though you're not really out of society, you're out of society. Like, you have so much time with who you are and how you feel. But anyway, the thing that came up that I don't know a whole lot about yet <clears throat> was that I want to fix people because I tried to fix my parents. And that doesn't resonate really, like, like, okay, I shouldn't be trying to fix people because there's still a calling. Like, there is a calling for me to help people. But I think the important thing to know about why it might come from a need to fix my parents is because the part of that that holds me up is that I never could fix them. And so maybe that's where the lack of belief that I can help people comes from. Because it's an asinine belief. Like, I've seen what I've done with people. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen it. So, anyway, yeah, I'm a little worried that a few days in society is going to stop this shedding, but like I said, if that's what's supposed to happen, that's what's supposed to happen, and, and I'm sure I'll get right back out there in it when I get out there in it, and I'm not in a place of blaming others, and that's good, and it's all good, and it's really good to see everybody, but I'm, I'm out of sorts. Out of sorts and at home all at the same time. Anyway, this video is getting longer than I like. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.